My name is Josh Atlas Altman. Everyone calls me Atlas. Who knows me? Former uh, number one on uh, Amazon for my recent book. That was fantastic. And then, like you, I get to claim current uh, top rated 150 speaker in the United States, which is an honor. For 27,000 people, we ended up in the same room in Miami. I have been in the uh, military for almost three decades. Uh, I am ex Special Forces, I'm on Special Operations. Yeah, I loved India. So in India, we went to visit during the national parade of the armed forces. So, you know, your brother probably knows this really well. They have a presidential review of all of the military forces in India once a year. Yeah. And it's a phenomenal show of force. So they have all of the military elements. Um, they line up this long, long road, like two miles worth of military assets and then they fly over with all their planes right and the tanks are there and it's just a massive show of force and it's phenomenal to see all that so um the president wanted to see one of those and so uh i was on the staff during that time when we landed we got into two limos which if you've seen the presidential limo limos if they're not nice but mm -hmm. the motorcade all of the vehicles that go on there there's a lot um so we uh we packaged it really small so that we could go down the middle of the road and see all of the military forces and they were open to attention. Just sharp, super sharp military forces just boom, boom, boom. Impressive. And uh, we got to like look and see all of the crowd that was behind the military forces, watching the military forces. And yeah, talk about food bombs. Like, it's just like, wow, but these guys are our friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, then we stood uh, in the middle of the parade ground and got up on this uh, five to ten foot stage and we watched everything just go by for hours. And everyone was super sharp, super professional. It was amazing. Uh, so that was what we did there. And we visited with a couple of the, um, the country's leaders. Um, and let me tell you, like, there's some beautiful buildings. There's some beautiful bodies in India. And then on the way back, um, uh, we flew back on Air Force One. The guy who sat next to me was uh, uh, Kumar from Harold and Kumar. I don't know his name. Right? Oh, so, so the Hollywood act? Yes. Oh, yeah. he, he also was yeah. part of it. Yeah, oh, yeah he wow. came back on Air Force One and uh, he was like, hey, if you want to come by the studio and check it out. And I'm like, dude, I don't even know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> but it, ooh, yeah, sure. Uh, and then that, that, uh, that was just an amazing experience as well to be around all the, but you usually see a bunch of uh, famous people, but the president's usually the ultimate rock star when it comes to people and like bringing it in. And, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, that was, that was one of the, the magical times was in, it was a fantastic trip. That was a fantastic trip. That's great to hear. So January 26th, probably you went for the Republic yep. Day and Republic Day growing up was a big holiday and we used to just sit around the TVs and watch the grand parade and that was my my best uh, moment that i had actually i happened to be part of the ncc they call it national cadet corps really but in uh, uh when you're a student you can be part of the uh parade so i was part of the parade where but then uh, i was in the horse mount battalion so we, we used to ride horses during the practice session i just fractured my foot Oh. So I couldn't go to Delhi because of that. Uh, it was a bummer that I couldn't go. But uh, but something that all the kids who are in NCC, they, they aspire to go for the Republic Day. And you are so lucky. You were in I, go with the president of U.S. to India. Yeah. And if people in India hear this, they, they really uh, will have a lot of pride in knowing that somebody coming from outside like that. So... At least I appreciate you stopping by the studio and uh, giving a lot of insights. Thank you so much. Thank you.